A big welcome to one of the biggest friends to the crime and thriller writing community in the world is Barry Forshaw, a walking encyclopedia. He's written more books about the genre than anybody else ever, and he's passionate about it. So massive welcome, Barry. I think the most important tip for a writer is utter and complete dedication. You have to not waste time, you have to be focused, you have to have it planned mentally, but then you have to write it as quickly and efficiently and smoothly as you can and trust your own instincts. My favourite book of the ones I've written is probably The Rough Guide to Crime Fiction because although I've done books on Scandinavian, French, German, uh, I like the British scene and it was great to write about the British scene in that and the great Americans and really I could cover everyone so that was very satisfying. I have in common with James Dean and Margaret Thatcher a total lack of need for sleep. I only need a couple of hours a night so I write in the wee small hours when everybody else is sound asleep. I suppose the book in terms of crime fiction that inspired me is probably a fairly cliche while most people go for it, which is The Big Sleep by Raymond Chandler. I'd never seen in any book, if crime fiction or literary fiction, that kind of fantastic use of language, language that leapt off the page. My guilty pleasure would be very bad horror films. I love good horror films, but I will also watch films that are so gruesome and, and badly made that nobody else would want to see them pop for me and a few thousand others. Every writer has a ritual before they start writing. In my case, it's, it's the cups of coffee, then the second cup of coffee, then the papers, and then finally a volley of four-letter words, which I won't repeat here, which get me out of the chair and writing. I've written since I was a boy. It's one of those cliches, isn't it? And I found when my family house was, was torn down, these ring-bound XA4 exercise books in which I've written reviews and stories and so forth. I was glad I was able to redeem them. She says that I was doing this at the age of 12. It was all crap, but I was doing it. It starts with me with the commission, so usually writing non-fiction. Uh, I've done so many on Scandinavian crime fiction, then I go to different countries and with film. I've written books on horror films and uh, crime films. So really it's when a publisher comes to me and says, would you do this book on this subject? As I'm a reviewer for the Financial Times and the Independent and the Eye, it's the question I hate to be asked is, will you look at my manuscript? by some first-time author. I feel terrible saying no. I really do feel guilty because I know it could be me, but I you know, haven't got the time. I'm sure this is what every writer says. We'd love to do it if we had the time. I frequently lose work because I'm not the most technophilic person in the world and I forget to say work and it goes. Fortunately, I've never lost an entire book. Thanks so much, Barry. The consummate expert on the crime and thriller world. Look forward very much to your next project.